It's heartbreaking enough whenever someone is murdered, but when they disappear on Christmas Eve and they're pregnant, it just makes it that much more heartbreaking. And I'm sure that's partially why the murder of Lacey Peterson or Lacey Roca made headline news and captured everyone's hearts back on December 24th, 2002, when she went missing on Christmas Eve. She was only 27 years old. She's laid to rest here in her hometown of Modesto in this tiny little cemetery, and I never would have found her gravesite without the GPS that someone added to her Find a Grave Memorial page. So thank you so much to whoever placed this GPS. I was able to walk right to her gravesite, and this is a very small cemetery, one of the smallest that I've visited. And it's also just out kind of in the middle of nowhere among the, the farms and ranches out here. Couldn't ask for a nicer final resting place. The name of the cemetery is Burwood Cemetery, and when I first arrived, I thought I was arriving at someone's house. It just looked like a house with a front yard. But then behind the yard is the cemetery in a very quiet location on our old country road. I'm driving up to Sacramento today from Southern California, and when I discovered that the cemetery where Lacey Roca is laid to rest is located just five to 10 minutes east of Highway 99, the highway I'm traveling on today on my way up to Sacramento, I knew I wanted to stop by and see her gravesite and pay my respects. It's hard to believe that this is 2022 and the 20th anniversary of her death. Her shocking disappearance on Christmas Eve and the eventual discovery that she had been murdered made headline news from coast to coast and across the globe. In 2004, her husband, Scott Peterson, was convicted of double homicide for killing Lacey and their unborn son, Connor. He was sentenced to death for the double homicide in December 2005. In 2020, his death penalty conviction was overturned, but he was resentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. He's currently serving his sentence at Mule Creek State Prison, which is about 50 miles north of the cemetery. Lacey was born here in Modesto, California on May 4th, 1975 and died here in Modesto on December 24th, 2002. This cemetery is located in a very small town called Escalon, which is a suburb of the city of Modesto. I am happy to see that her family has not used her married name on her headstone. I only refer to her as Lacey Peterson in this video because that was her name when she was murdered and unfortunately that's how she became famous and that's how the world knows her. As sad and tragic and heartbreaking as Lacey's story is, if you Google how many women are killed each year by their husbands, the statistics are beyond shocking. According to just one report by the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime in 2020, approximately 47,000 women and girls worldwide are murdered by their husbands or intimate partners or family members each year. So while I'm here today to remember Lacey's life, I'm also remembering the thousands and thousands of other women like Lacey who were also senselessly killed by their spouses or intimate partners. Most of them never make headline news, but they all deserve to be remembered and to be visited if they have grave sites. If you personally happen to know someone who was murdered by a husband or spouse or intimate partner, please feel free to share their memory with us in the comments section down below. This week I want to give a shout out and a very big thank you to my newest channel supporters Ilana Rian, Zing Wilder, and Laverne Perry. Your kind and generous donations to this channel make trips like this possible and are very appreciated. And thank you too to everyone who's taken the time to subscribe, to leave comments, and to give thumbs up to the videos that you like. That means an awful lot too. Until our next trip to the cemetery together, Thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.